Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to be showing you guys my favorite highlighters. So, this is in categories of my favorite natural highlighters and my favorite very glowy highlighters because I know that a lot of you have a very different sense of style when it comes to highlighters, whether you're looking for something just very, very light on the skin or if you're looking for something more glowy and vibrant and, you know, seeing from the stars type of look or if you're like me and occasionally for certain places like my job, <laughs> both of my jobs actually, I like a more subtle highlight. And then when I'm just being me, when I'm literally just grocery shopping, I don't care what people think about me. So I will wear my glowiest highlighter I can possibly wear because I think it looks beautiful. So if you want to see my favorite highlighters, I did not limit myself to a number because I like certain highlighters for certain reasons. And I really wanted to show you guys a range of different highlighters from drugstore to high end because I think it's important to, you know, reach every single gap of the market, whether, you know, affordable to you means high end or affordable to you means drugstore or even if affordable to you means something that you can use as an eyeshadow and as a highlighter in like dual, you know. So I really want to give you options for every different reason and every different option of brands and stuff like that. So. These are my ultimate favorite highlighters that I always reach for whenever I don't have a project pan going on or any time that I'm looking in my drawer for something very, very specific. I'm usually looking for one of these. So let's get right into this. So the first highlighter that I'm going to start with is a more subtle highlighter and it is on the lower end of the budget realm. I will put prices of everything when I bring them on screen right here so that you guys can see the pricing on everything. And I'm going to use Ulta's pricing or Sephora's pricing because I know that's where most of you buy your products. So I will use those pricing as much as I can and when I find them. So the first product is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight and it's in the shade 10 Be My Highlight. This is one of my most used highlighters that I own. Here is a swatch of it here. Sorry if I'm totally flicking you off, but I swatch with my middle finger. It looks like nothing when you swatch it. Truly, like, it honestly even looks boring when you swatch it. But when you put it on the skin and you're looking for a very, very natural toned highlighter, it looks beautiful not only that but it is so incredibly affordable and with this kind of highlighter sometimes if i'm just looking for a glowy finish to my skin and to my makeup even on days where i'm really not wearing much makeup at all but i really kind of want more of a glowy finish sometimes i'll use my powder brush and i'll put this all over my skin and just kind of do a very light dusting and it's so subtle that it just gives my skin the most natural healthiest glow Ever. This does not cling to any of my dry spots whatsoever and in the winter time especially I get very very intense dry spots and especially right around my eyes where my highlight would go which is really annoying but this doesn't cling to them at all. It really does give an amazingly beautiful finish on the skin. And honestly, if you're just starting out with highlighter, this is the one I would go with because not only is it on the more affordable end if you're looking for, you know, prices, but it is on the more natural and like building up end. So if you're not used to a very, very glowy, stark highlight, but you like that on other people, maybe start with this one and get used to a highlight in general and then move more towards more of a glowy highlight. So this is my first recommendation I would give to you guys. And honestly, anybody that's picked this up that I've told them to pick this up, they've loved it. So I, I love this product. I'm so glad they didn't discontinue it. They were thinking or, you know, putting it out there that they were going to discontinue this and they have not so far. And I'm very happy that they have not. So go and pick this one up. This one's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to start going up in prices from that one. And the next one is actually the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Now this one's in the shade Natural Glow. I actually pulled this for my everyday makeup drawer for my natural highlighter for this month. And this highlighter definitely gives that beautiful, soft, natural feel. It does have the slightest bit of like peachy pink tone to it. 
Yes, it does have that terrible, god-awful butter bronzer smell. I don't like it at all. I thought I liked it, and then I didn't, and then I thought I liked it, and then I didn't, and now I know I for sure don't like it. But I just swatched it right here. It's just below the Be My Highlight. So Be My Highlight is right here from Essence, and this one is from um, Physician's Formula. So you can kind of see that they're very, very similar in tones. Um, the Physician's Formula is definitely more pink toned, though. So if you have a lighter skin tone, honestly, both of them would be good. But if you have a very, very fair skin tone, I would suggest the pinker tone more often than the other one because pink tones seem to look very, very natural and very beautiful on more lighter skin tones. This does work for me perfectly fine, though. I find that I can dust this the same as the other one all over the skin, and it really gives me the most beautiful finish. It's very, very finely milled so that I don't have to worry about it clinging to dry spots or clinging to any textures. Um, once in a while, I do have little tiny breakouts right here, especially in the summertime, which is really unfortunate, but sometimes I do get those little breakouts right here and this doesn't cling to them at all. So I really do enjoy this highlighter and I would recommend it to you guys, but I would say to wait for it when it's on sale for the buy one, get one half off if you're planning on getting maybe another butter blush to go with it or a butter bronzer or whatever product from Physicians Formula. That way you can save yourself a little bit of money on it. So the next product I have I'm not sure if it is discontinued or not right now, but it is from Pure Cosmetics and it is the Elevation Palette. I love this palette. So this is called Elevation Mini Highlighter Palette and I think I got it over Christmas last year but it gives you three separate tones of highlighter, a lighter tone, a multi-tone, and a slightly darker tone. I would say that this is definitely geared more towards light to medium skin tones. Unfortunately, it's not really gonna work too well for my darker skin ladies out there. But, I mean, you could definitely mix this with a different toned highlighter to make it work a little bit better or to make this a little bit more of a different tone for your skin but this very, very white one here is the center one swatched for you guys. I can swatch this upgrade, which is the more pink or darker toned one. So here it is there, very, very pink toned and very bright as you can see. And then the last one is Boost, and this is one that I say that is very comparable to the Essence color. So there is Boost right here on my skin. And I know that giving them hand swatches doesn't really do them justice, but when you swatch them on your face, I typically tend to mix all three of them together with a very, very fluffy, fan brush. I could not think of the word. I tend to mix all three of these together with a very fluffy fan brush. I will show you the brush that I use. I typically use my crown or my Coastal Scents humongous fan brush. It is a literal ginormous fan brush here and I tend to mix all three of these colors together. I just kind of dab it in there and I get some product on my brush. I tap it in on both sides I'm gonna be super glowy now because I have like three different highlighters on. And I rub it in with my very big fan brush. This one gives me the most natural finish to my highlight. So as you can see, it definitely, it's more glowy now because I have three highlighters layered on top of each other. But I will say, just happened. I will say the only drawback with this one is that it becomes very powdery as you put brushes into it. But I think that's kind of a part of its charm too because when it rests on your skin, it only rests on top for a very short moment in time. And then when you spray your setting spray on it, it sinks in like it's part of your skin. I love this palette. I've gotten 
so much use out of this. I know it doesn't look like it at all, but I've really gotten a lot of use out of this. And I tend to bring this one with me a lot because I like to mix these two darker shades together for my skin highlight. And I'd like to do it on my collarbone as well. It gives such a beautiful tone to my skin. And the pinkier and the bronzier tones here really mix with my skin very, very well. So if you're a very similar skin tone to mine, and this is available, which, God, I really hope it is. I will put notes on the side, I promise. But if it is available, I would definitely recommend it to anybody and everybody. Okay, I'm feeling like I'm being very long-winded right now, so I'm gonna kind of jump through the rest of these here because I feel like I can't stop talking right now. Anyways, the next more natural toned highlighter that I have is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Blush. You guys saw this in my last or my first um, Shop My Stash drawer. I honestly thought I was going to be decluttering this. I had no intention of keeping it. I really didn't think that this was going to be any kind of significance in my collection at all. And it just has turned out, it's right here, kind of like a weird diagonal swatch there. It's turned out to be the most beautiful finish on my skin. It has a slight, and I mean the slightest, just the tiniest bit of glitter in it, which is not my favorite, but because it is so finely milled and it's so just minimal in there, it actually gives the best glow to your skin. I can do the same thing with this one as I can with my Essence and my Butter Blush. I can put this all over my face and give myself the slightest little bit of a glow if I'm very, very light-handed with this one. Um, or I can just brush it all over my cheeks and give myself a natural highlight. And I love it so much. It's the same as the other. It doesn't cling to dry spots. It doesn't um, add any extra texture to my texture that I already have. And it doesn't glow too much on my nose. I know that's something silly to say, but with my natural highlighters, I typically put them on before my glowy highlighters. So I'll do this one all over my cheeks, above my eyebrow, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And then if I really want an extra glow, that's when I'll go in with my glowy highlighter. But this one looks so good on my nose. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing it on my nose today. But if I had to choose one to only put on my nose every day for my highlight, this is the one because it looks so natural on my nose and it just gives my whole face just such a beautiful glow to it that it's almost like a glow from within rather than actually wearing a highlighter. Two more in the natural tone highlighters and then we'll move to the more glowy tones. So the next one that I have and absolutely love and I'm getting like more excited about these as I go because I just have like certain memories with them. And <laughs> this is a memory from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Highlight 01. It is a very natural highlighter. I had this in my everyday makeup drawer last month. And this is the most beautiful, and I mean beautiful, baked highlighter ever. Like everyone loves this tone because it gives, it's right here. That one is the Dandelion Twinkle. This one is the Laura Mercier. It just gives the lightest bit of glowiness to it without being shimmery or glittery at all. But the reason why I laugh when I bring this one out is because when I put this in my cart, along with a few other things, I accidentally pushed submit. Like, oh crap. And I didn't want to cancel my order because I think that's silly to do. But I was like, oh man, I just ordered a bunch of stuff and I don't know. And almost every single item in that order that I just pushed submit on and just did it, I have loved those items. Another item that was in that cart was the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb, which you guys I know I love. But 
This Laura Mercier, it is a bit more on the expensive side, but it is totally worth it. If I was to pick up one, and I mean one high-end highlighter that was giving me a natural glow finish, this is the high-end one that I would pick up, the only one, if I had to clear out my collection of every single high-end highlighter that I have. This is the one that I would keep, is the Laura Mercier 01 Highlight, and I love it. It gives me everything I need in a highlighter along with everything I've said before about the other highlighters that I've mentioned. I just, it's just so great. And the tone for my skin, for some reason, when my skin is very, very pale, it looks amazing. And when my skin is this color, it looks even better. So I just love it. It just works perfectly. It's almost like it melts with the tone of my skin. I'm not sure how it looks on you darker skin ladies, but I would say that even when I'm tanner than this, in the midst of summer when I am the darkest I can possibly be, this still looks fantastic on me. So I would recommend this to anyone if you're looking for more of a high-end highlighter. And I don't know, this has lasted me forever. I use it all the time and it's lasted me so long. So I would... I would repurchase this. If I could only purchase one, it would be this one. And the very last high-end highlighter that I would recommend to you guys, if you're looking for a luxury brand highlighter that is fantastic and more of a natural toned finish to your skin, I would recommend the YSL Touche Eclat Lumiere Divine Highlighter. That is a name that I had to look at the back of it to remember what it was. Um, but it is in such beautiful packaging, first of all. I mean, seriously, stop it. But here is the highlighter here. It gives you a very significant size pan. Um, <laughs> I'm actually really silly because I love the little YSL logo in here. So I like go around it to pick up my highlighter because I don't want it to go away. <laughs> is that silly? Do you guys do that? Let me know in the comments below if you guys do that. If you pick up product around the indent of the product name just so that you can keep watching it and keep looking at it. I'm just saying. So here is the YSL highlighter here. It's definitely a bit brighter than the Laura Mercier. So it gives you a bit brighter of a tone on the skin. But I would say it's even more finely milled than the Laura Mercier. When I feel it on my skin, it feels so soft. It feels so soft on the skin to the touch. And when I'm putting it on my face, I really feel like I'm putting on a very luxury product. It doesn't get powdery. It doesn't have a lot of kick up at all, which I really, really appreciate because I'm paying a high dollar for this highlight and I want it to last a long time. So when I notice that there's not a lot of kick up off of this, I really appreciate that because then I don't feel like I'm wasting product. And not to mention, I can only pick up a tiny little bit of this because you can get a little heavy handed on this one. That is one thing I will say about this is that I've gotten very heavy handed with this and it's looked a little bit too much. Like I'm trying too hard honestly and when I'm wearing this it's not like I'm trying too hard with a glowy highlight it's like I'm trying too hard as if I'm spreading my highlighter all over my face but I don't want to if that makes sense like I don't want to be glowy all over but I am and this highlighter can get like that if you put it too much on so I would say with this one use a very light hand and it will go on beautifully it won't cling to dry patches it won't mess with your texture at all at least it hasn't for me and my like I said I do get a little bit of texture right in there and it doesn't cling to that at all it really does look very smooth over the skin and it gives you a very very clean looking highlight and I really do enjoy this one so if you guys are looking for a very high-end highlighter, I would definitely suggest this YSL highlighter. It is fantastic. Not only that, but it does come in this little black packaging that is like a felt packaging or a 
I think it's felt. I don't know. I guess that's what it is. And it does come with this little pad that you can put inside of here and put it in like so. But I would only do that if I'm traveling. Other than that, I like to let the product breathe a little bit. So I don't tend to put this in here, nor am I gonna use this for my highlight because I do like the brush for the highlight. I will show you guys the brush that I currently use for my highlighter and it is this um, SL Miss Glam, what is this? The L36 or 35? L36 brush that I got in my Ipsy bag. I really love this slight taper to the brush and the bit of density to it because I can fluff it out and make it a very loose powder highlighter or I can keep it very dense and just brush it along and keep it a very, very, um, toned in highlighter so i really do enjoy this brush but if you're looking for a fan brush i would actually recommend this ginormous huge fan brush from crown brushes and i like it because it's so big because you can get really messy with your highlighter and really make it just kind of fluff all over where you want it as opposed to getting it very very condensed in one area so this is the only fan brush I've genuinely liked for my highlighter and it really does spread the product very nicely, especially when I'm going with a more um, natural toned highlighter. I would use this brush more often. When I'm going with a more glowy highlighter, I want my highlighter to be very well placed. I use more of the tapered dense brush. So those are the two brushes I would recommend. But this is the very last natural highlighter that I would recommend to you guys. Okay, you guys, I only have four super glowy highlighters that I would recommend to you. And one of them is from Becca. Of course, you had to know one of them had to be from her. And I would actually recommend the color Moonstone as opposed to Champagne Pop. I know a lot of people like Champagne Pop, but for me and my skin tone and what I like my highlighter to do, I actually recommend the shade Moonstone. I think it works better for my skin, whether it is more of a fair complexion or more of a tanned complexion. So the Becca one does cling just the slightest bit to my texture on my skin, but not enough for me to actually notice it throughout the day. I do notice it initially when I put it on, but after it's slightly fallen off during the day, I really don't notice it at all. And I recommend this one to anybody that is my skin tone or lighter. Honestly, if you do have a darker skin tone, I would maybe go with Opal or Champagne Pop because they are technically a bit of a darker skin tone color. But anybody that is even in the lighter realm of skin tones, I would go with Moonstone. And personally, I enjoy Moonstone a lot more than I enjoy my Champagne Pop, which I have a full size of. And Moonstone, I only have this little sample guy. So this little sample guy is holding out really, really well. Let me give you a swatch of Moonstone. So as you guys can see, Moonstone is right here. And you can tell with the natural toned highlighters, you see the difference of this one here. This is Moonstone. And Moonstone definitely gives more of an oomph to your highlighter. It makes your highlighter stand out. So if you're not looking for your highlighter to really pop and really show, then I wouldn't recommend this to you, obviously. But if you're looking for more of a glowy highlighter, Becca is a very, very good brand. And I've bought many of their products in the years and I've really enjoyed every single thing that I've purchased from them. So I would definitely recommend this Becca Moonstone highlighter and I think it's fantastic. So. Try it out. Let me know if you, what you think. If you guys have Becca highlighters, which I'm sure most of you do, let me know down in the comments below what shade is your favorite so that I can kind of get a realm of everybody's favorite shades. Yes, I do like Opal and Champagne Pop and um, what's the other shade? Pearl? I can't even remember what the other shade is. I think it's Pearl right now. And then there's the light chaser ones and stuff like that. Let me know your favorite Becca highlighter down below if you have any, and that way I can kind of check out any of them that I haven't checked out previously, but I love Moonstone and I'm sure tons of you guys will agree with me on this one. I just dropped it. Oh my God, please don't break. Oh. 
It's not broken. <laughs> We're good. We're solid. So the next one was also an item in my everyday makeup drawer of last month, and it is the Jouer Highlighter in the shade Citrine. I loved this freaking thing. It is so glowy though. Like, yeah, I was glowing from the freaking stars when I wore this. This definitely has a bit more of a yellow tone than Moonstone. So Moonstone's here and Citrine is here. I feel like personally Citrine has more of a yellow golden tone and Moonstone has more of a cooler tone. So if you're looking for more of the glowy out from your mind, crazy, ridiculous highlight, this is the one to go to. This one is not as finely milled as Becca. So unfortunately, same thing. It does cling slightly to dry spots and to texture, but... I don't care because when I wear citrine, I really want my highlighter to glow and I want it to glow from the heavens above. And why do I care if a little tiny bit of texture shows up? And honestly, my texture on my face comes and goes. I don't have acne scarring or anything like that. I do have, um, some sun damage on my skin and some very, very small pimples once in a great while or zits or whatever you want to call them, blemishes. Um, but they don't typically stay around for very long and when they do, it's just kind of like a come and go type of thing. They're here one week, they're gone the next. So honestly, I don't break out very often so I really don't have that problem very often. But if you do have the problem of a lot of texture on your skin, I would say maybe not the best glowy highlighter for you. I will recommend a different one, but this one is very, very good. I love this one. Okay, and my last two favorite glowy highlighters are actually from Palettes. So I'm going to mention the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit first. I do have the pad, but this was my very first, very first highlighter kit I ever got. So it looks a freaking mess. Here it is here. Honestly, <laughs> I have dropped this so many times. I can't believe it's as intact as it is. I feel really bad for it because it's been dropped so many times, but I love this kit so much. I mean, you can tell my uses, especially in this color here in Moonstone, this color really speaks to me and looks really, really good with my skin tone. But honestly, I tend to mix all four of these colors together. I'll just kind of just do, 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 and then put it on and it looks gorgeous. But honestly, in the bronzed shade, I tend to wear this more when I'm very, very tan. This one I tend to wear more in the fall tourmaline and or tourmaline, whatever you want to call it. And then moonstone in summer, I tend to wear more in the winter and spring months. So the months that I'm coming out of my very not tanned phase but these ones are the same as everything else. They don't leave any kind of texture looking on your skin. They really blend in beautifully. They are very, very finely milled, so they work perfectly on the skin. I just, I love these. I mean, honestly, you can tell that like I've dropped mine. Can you see this right here? I've dropped mine so many times, it's not even funny anymore. But I just love this glow kit and it feels so expensive too when I hold it and I touch it and I use it. It just is so nice. Not to mention the fact that if you ever want to take them out of this glow kit and put them in a Z palette, they're so easy to pop out. And what I really appreciate about these is that they have the information sticker on the back because if that information sticker wasn't there, how do I know what color this is unless I write with it on a Sharpie? I'm just saying, I have a lot of makeup and I love using all my makeup. So how am I gonna remember the exact shade of that color? So I love this palette. I know tons of people talk about this and I would recommend this to anybody that's looking to get a really, really nice highlighter palette. And honestly, you can use that bronze shade as an eyeshadow color and it looks beautiful. I've done that many times to try to get more use out of it and I love it. So I'm thinking of putting this in my next 
makeup shot my stash. Let me know if you guys want me to do that and to do some looks with this highlighter palette because I can definitely do that. And the very last glowy highlighter that I have for you guys is actually from the Kathleen Lights and Makeup Geek Highlight Collection. Here is the back of this. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're still selling this, but I will definitely leave a link if they are. It's so beautiful. Look at this packaging. Seriously, stop. I'm just saying. I got this last Christmas in 2016 for a Christmas present and I told my mom, I was like, you have to buy this immediately. It's going to sell out and I'm going to be really, really upset if it does. So the three shades are, um, I think this is Sunlight, Starlight, and Nightlight. So here are the three shades. I just think they are so freaking beautiful. So I have so much highlighter on my hand. I don't know what to do with my life right now. So this one is Sunlight. It is a very, very gold toned. And then Starlight is a very pink toned. And then Nightlight is more of a bronzy tone. So here they are here on my skin. So Sunlight, Starlight, Nightlight. And I really think that Kathleen Lights really did an excellent job with putting in all the colors for every skin tone. I swear, if you bought this and you are a dark skin tone, a light skin tone, a medium skin tone, it doesn't matter. You are going to find something in this palette that you love. And then you can use the other colors as eyeshadow colors, as body colors, as whatever else you want to use them for. I love this palette. My, like I said, my mom got it for me, so it does have a little bit of a reminiscing vibe to it because it's the only makeup product my mom's ever purchased for me, which is amazing. And it really gets me excited to think about this palette. And I love using it. So I have this gold tone is typically what I will wear for my highlights. The more pink tone, I will actually wear more as a body highlight or a inner corner highlight. I really like the pink one for my inner corner highlight because it isn't quite my shade for highlighting. I don't like a very, very pink highlight. A slight pink highlight is okay for my skin tone, but typically I like to wear that one as a inner corner color highlight and I think it looks beautiful with my darker right now skin tone. I like to wear this one obviously a lot in the summertime is when I like to wear this one because it just really, really meshes with my skin color and my skin tone very, very well. In the winter time, I will be honest, this one's not the best one for me because I do like some of those more natural tone highlighters in the winter time. But in the summertime, it's like the sun's out. Duh, of course I wanna glow, <laughs> obviously just saying but anyways I really do enjoy this and if it is still available I would recommend you guys picking it up as soon as possible it will be going out of stock I'm sure at some point in its life but if not then you I think you can find these tones individually on Makeup Geek's website so I would definitely recommend that as well but anyways that is all of the highlighters I have for you guys today I hope that you guys can find something you like in any of the recommendations that I made for you guys today even if you are looking for a more glow highlighter or if you're looking for more of a natural toned highlighter like I said some days I'm into them both so some days I'll put my natural toned highlighter on and then I'll just put my glowy one on right over top so do what makes you happy about highlighters I know a lot of people go in and out of phases or you know you really didn't like highlighters and then all of a sudden you love them and you know so on and so forth so just do what makes you happy when it comes to highlighting. There is no rules when it comes to makeup. Even though people try to pretend that there are rules, there are no rules. You do what makes you happy and that's kind of how I live by. I'm just doing what makes me happy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I hope this inspired you to look up some different brands maybe or look up some prices and see you know what is in your range of affordability and yeah so I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you guys in the next one bye